Hello everyone and welcome back to the Virtual Railroader Academy. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Professor Casey, and usually right now I'd be introducing a co-host, Professor Nick. He's out of town on some very fun jobs right now. So he's not with us tonight. You guys are just stuck with me. Um, and welcome to Shortline Railroading Workshop. Uh, kind of think of this as a practical exam of everything that we've done already so far. Um, air brakes, train handling, switching the yard, um, some road train stuff, some switching stuff. We're going to kind of be doing a whole bunch of all of it tonight. So uh, with that, I we should probably dive on in. Um, our first load is we got to head up with our trusty uh, Jeep here uh, and head on up to the interchange and pull it and start making up trains. Uh, it's a short line. Uh, I'm doing all the work. And uh, before uh, before we started this, uh, talking with the yard uh, dispatcher, we're going to be uh, chasing the yellows of another engine out of town. And uh, I think uh, we're taking the hole right at uh, Dillsboro here uh, for something else to come through. Right, Rudy? Yes, you are. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. That should be uh, getting on the move very shortly. Play. Uh, yep, I hear a ding-ding going on next to me. So we're just going to creep slowly up to the yard lead. Check your uh, yard switches at both ends there. One of them is open in Dillsboro. Uh, yep, looks like one's open. Ow, fell off the engine. Looks like one uh, squeaky just kicked open that switch. Okay. And it's closed. Yep. Try oh, well, you know what? That works. I can run over here and normal up behind me. So as a good railroader, we normal up our switches as we go through them. Hopefully the game audio sounds good for everyone. Let me know if it's uh, sounding a little funky. Something's too quiet, something's too loud, I'll, I'll adjust it. But it's a short line special. When you work for a short line, you end up doing a lot of everything. Um, whether you want to or not. Ow. Stuck in the seat. And that's what we're doing tonight. Uh, we, uh, we've got a lot to do. Um, there's road jobs. So it's, it's going to be a busy night here on the railroad. And that's, that's what I enjoy. Um. Now, funny enough, I just got my ops notes for this weekend, uh, running on Saturday, and I like running steam engine on one train set one day, uh, switching over to another train set, uh, like halfway through the day, they're switching to do, gonna be a little bit of night running stuff, so it's, you know, short line, you know, doing this short line special tonight, but then short line special again on Saturday, so it's, a, uh, I guess good practice for me, kind of get back into the rhythm of doing more than one thing. Uh, am I taking the hole or the main here at uh, Dillsboro? Uh, which one? I guess you're going to take probably the main, because I think uh, uh, the train's coming out of the hole, so. Okay. We'll just creep on up to the station. Oop. Yeah. Oop. Looks like I have a, a mail train coming up behind me. Where are you? Uh, passing through Dillsboro. And I'm gonna hole up here. I do not know what's going on up there, and I don't want to find out the hard way.
I'm just gonna let whatever's going on up there happen. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the dispatcher to tell me what to do. Well... Alright, uh... Make a couple little audio adjustments here. Turn up the game volume a bit. Is, dispatcher's not 100% sure what's going on. <laughs> well, that's always a good sign. Yeah. Uh, 6651 to dispatch. Uh, yeah, dis suppose I could... Dispatch. Suppose I could, uh... Revert back up and, uh... Move into the hole here to allow this mail train to pass. Yeah, where are you going, 6651? Silva, to pick up, uh... Okay. Valley Flyer. Yeah, let the, uh, let the mail train get by, get around you, and then you can head that way. Understood. Okay, well, we're already shortlining it today. Uh, <laughs> see, uh, Wet Dog, thanks for the subscription. Much appreciated. 6777 Productions, great to see you subscribing again. I, you know, I think 60 mile mainline still considered a short line, technically. Probably more like a class 2, you know, or an RNN type deal, I guess. Question mark? It's been said that the uh, Dorman Southern's decapod, Baldwin decapods, were known to highball at 60 miles an hour at certain spots. Yeah, what was the, the Gainesville Midland? That was like a 40, 50 mile railroad that was considered a short line? Yeah. So, you know, 60. You know, nearly 60 miles. I'd, I'd call that a short line. I think that's safe to say. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'm just going to be chasing Squiggy's Reds, uh... Yeah. Yeah. You're only going to have one intermediate between, you know, between you and the station, so... Okay. Alright, here's the fast mail. Yeah, good engineer and dim my headlight. Oh, this is typical, very, uh, you know, Susquehanna, New York, Susquehanna and Western, oh. NYS&W. They had a saying, as most railroads do with their initials. NYS&W stands for now you sit and wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hanging out, waiting for Squiggy to get out of the way so that way we can get up and get our train and start drilling. We got a pretty big drill, took a look earlier. Both yard tracks are full, uh, according to the uh, train master. Which I guess is also technically me, um, if you look at our timetable. So, yay, multiple hats. Welcome to the short line business. Right? Ah, oh, God. You know, you're a conductor, you're also the engineer for the day. <laughs> you're the fireman, you're also the brakeman. Do that a lot. Fireman and brakeman are combined on a lot of steam railroads. Just because, you know, you don't need to carry the one extra person. For how little you need a brakeman. Blame the train. Yeah, you know what? I I think it's the dispatcher's fault. 
We're gonna blame the dispatcher. <laughs> I, t I take full responsibility, and you can dock my pay. Okay, there you go. I shall take away one SW1 from your uh, your roster. Um, how do I do my job? At that's a good point. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll we'll give you one O six O. Playing with the independent a bad thing while you're waiting on your signal? It's alright. Usually my thing when I'm waiting on the signal is you got the nut that holds the brake handle down on the 6. Those always come loose as you're working the brakes. So like whenever I'm sitting waiting on a signal, like waiting for the conductor to give me the highball, I'm just there like tightening it back down, hand tight again. <laughs> so like I'm literally just there like, yeah, oh look at that, the handle's almost coming off, let me tighten the nut back down. I don't, I don't have that here at my desk. I kind of wish I did, that I can just turn it down. Oh, hey, here we go. Your desk doesn't have a six break? My desk does not have a six break, surprisingly. How do you stop your desk? How do I what? How do you stop your desk? Um, usually a wedge. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes a chalk. Occasionally a portable derail. Um, I should note, I whistled back up, uh, because Jeep 9, all in all, uh, and I love this thing, uh, love working with the, the Jeeps, um, but, uh, well, my biggest complaint is that it's set up for wrong hood forward, so, uh, I always treat the short hood like the backup, like, like, like the reverse, um, cause, god damn it, if I'm not gonna have, it's gotta be set up the right way, damn it, long hood forward is the correct way forward. To each their own opinion. And er other people are allowed to be wrong. <laughs> I'll withhold comment. <laughs> uh, the short hood's nice. You get great visibility. Um, but I don't know. I I like the long hood. Um, and it's it just feels right. There's history behind the reason uh, for it being long hood forward, isn't there? I think so. I think it's, uh, I know this. What? What? I'm inside the short hood. Hmm. I just glitched through. I'll well, I can through. confirm there's no toilet in the short hood. <laughs> I uh, heard rumor that the long hood was for, uh, like people who were just coming off of steam engine crews and weren't used to such high visibility. That way they could still continue to operate the same way they had with steam locomotives. I imagine it's probably like a union thing too to keep the firemen. Cause you need someone yeah. to then watch the other side. Or like short hood, you, short hood you have surprising visibility for it being uh, as annoying as it is. Uh -huh. 6651 to dispatch. I am in the hall at Silva. Roger that. Thank you. Someone needs to make it a video game controller that's like a six break. I was working on 3D printing that and taking apart a um, switch controller and turning it into a 6ET brake stand and 3D printing it, but the guy who was doing the 3D printing at my job left, so I don't have anyone to do it anymore. I know a guy. Um, I'd be interested in picking that back up again. I was, I was going to build a really cool base, that way I can... The way I had it set up is that you had the automatic was wired, was uh, using the triggers. So that way you still had to take the, um, so that way, like, even once you put it in the service, you had to go back to lap to stop pressing the button. And when you went to release, it, uh, pressed the left trigger to release. Uh, but then you also had to go back to lap. So it was, uh, kind of annoying in that regard. But, you know, still. 31, you can come in the yard and get your train. And um, 
Davies wants to know if the Dillsborough Silver area changed. No, not really. It's pretty much the same. Over here we have the Hoffman Paperboard Plant. It's our internal name for it. Named after uh, one of our friends. Hmm? The uh, other one on the other end of the railroad that you guys saw, if you watched the, the railroader video, the Snowbird Plant, we call the Garbly Paper Company. It's just a running inside joke for us. Yeah, the mile. It's like a speed bump. Uh, you hit it and you went good. Yeah, All right, Valley Fire Dispatch. Uh, I'm ready to depart Silva. Uh, right after that, I assume uh, the other trains by you, you can, uh, you can head out west. Understood. Thank you. Yeah, the the Silva transfers uh, off the board. Uh, dispatch Valley Local. Uh, I got a red signal, Alerka Junction. Uh, let's fix that for you. How about now? Thank you, sir. Yep. Okay, let's see what our damage is up here at the interchange. I'm gonna grab this cut first. Try and using the labels on the car tags to try and block these a little bit. Yeah, you, you'd have a clipboard or an iPad in this day and age uh, with your switch list on it and your picks. Ow, good hitch. Hop over the coupler there like you're supposed to. And I'm only going to grab the cars that are going to Locust Pin and leave all the tannery stuff. The tannery job deals with those cars themselves, so I'm going to leave those cars for them. So I'll bottle my air, pop my coupler. And here we go. Uh, 31, I bottled your air for you, so you should be good to go there. I'm clear to exit. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you will have a out. meet some along the way, but I'll figure that out when you get there. Understood. And now we're going to grab that whole second out. track of stuff. Okay. So we're going to have quite a bit of switching to do. We have, I guess, four trains, to, three trains to make up. We're going to have a transfer between yards. We're going to have a hopper jet. We're going to have a local and a local. That's on the grade, so I'm just going to let that coast. Now's the fun part about train games, is that switching takes a real amount of time. It just, it doesn't scale. And that always surprises me every time I do it. I was playing yesterday, and I had a, like, a 40 car drill. And, uh, how long do you think 40 cars takes in real life? Uh, out there, chat. One more car. Mohawk Lumber 40, Colin, dispatch. Uh, dispatch Mohawk Lumber 40? Yeah, 40 looking to get uh, permission to go out in Main 2 and uh, come up to the south end of the yard there to uh, pin on to my train. Uh, Roger, you got clearance to come out on Main 2. Yeah, Roger. Clearance to come out on Main 2. Mohawk 40. Uh, it was it was a two hour drill. It took me two and a half hours to drill everything. And I was bouncing around between two different trains. I had to babysit something running uh running into town. But two hours to drill forty cars, and it's like ah, like this is also like I'm enjoying this puzzle of trying to get all this done. But also it's like ah, oh, this is like work. I forgot about this part. It just doesn't scale. Uh, yeah. It's like working on the railroad. You gotta do all the switching stuff. And just grab my independent a little bit here. Try not to let the slack roll too terribly. Uh, 
um, as air is pissing out of the last car of this train. There we go. All right. Got to grab these last four cars. And then we are good to start heading back to Dillsboro. shove against this that's a tactic I learned for spotting cars is taking a set uh, and then shoving against it to be able to spot I think it's just slightly too much of a set right now uh, you know what I don't think notch six is the way to go for this you know what I may have nailed it Strike that everyone, I nailed it. Love it when that happens. That was that not a planned moment. Alright, release that. All of those cars are going that way. Okay. Do the be a good noodle here. And we'll go check and make sure we get a set and release on the hind end. Uh, 40, as soon as that yard job clears up, you can come in and grab your train. 40, Roger. Clear to... Come on in. Grab uh, train over. RO Aquatic, yes. Uh, one of my Mikados is numbered 40. Uh, after the last time I uh, ran that engine on the last stream, 40 was, in fact, pissed at me in real life. Uh, so I have not touched that engine since then. Because I think it is a curse. Okay, what's going on here? How come I don't see air? Oh, I just have the car. I had the wrong car selected. We're winning, folks. All right, hop back down here, and uh, let's head on out and uh, contact the dispatcher. Oh, I think I know who you are, uh, R.O. Were you asking to contact the dispatcher there, or were you uh, saying you were going to do that? I'm saying I'm going to do that, just, you know. Okay. Oh, it looks like the... Is the bot broken again? Um... Uh, Flying Scotsman, how did I know 40 was upset with me? 40 did not want to pull the day that I ran her. I have, there is a video running, um, and, uh, of me running that day. And, uh, I have never heard the engine bark like that before. Uh, called the CMO to come out because uh, it was not operator error. Well, not operator error on my end, at least. Um... Called the CMO to come out because the engine wasn't pulling. Uh, having a hard time keeping time. Um, couldn't figure out what was wrong. Uh, so CMO just told me, run more in the corner. So I ran more in the corner. Um, and, you know, she uh, she ran better when I was running her harder. Um, but uh, it, it did, you know, afterwards, thinking about it more, talking it out with uh, other people. Um deduce that it was an uh, operator error, but not from the engineer's perspective. And I think we yeah. can safely leave it at that. But uh, I, I knew she was angry at me. Uh, you know, she may have been a little angry at me. 40, 40 does not like me. We have a, we have an abusive relationship. Uh, 
Uh, Mohawk 42 dispatch looking to depart for Zomil. Uh, dispatch uh, to 40, you are clear out of the yard. Yeah, that's a roger. All right, so we're coming out to a signal. We don't have permission out of yard limits yet, so I'm just going to take a wee set, um, especially on breaks from the 50s, uh, 60, er, 40s, 50s, where you have P valves, GC valves. Uh, you can take a tiny application and they'll grab super well. Uh, like a four pound set is enough uh, with those types of breaks. So uh, just to take a little nibble here and start dragging it into the signal while we uh, call out the dispatcher. Uh, extra 9285 dispatch. Yeah, uh, dispatch 9285. Yeah, we're uh, coming here into Parsons. We're looking to get track back to uh, Dillsboro. Uh, you have track back to Dillsboro. Here we go. We'll get the carbon out of the stacks. Just straight to eight. I mean, when, you get, be late. when you get to Dillsboro, just let me know when you're in the yard and uh, switch as normal. Will do. Alright, we're just gonna... Hi, there's a little downhill here, a little grade down, so we're just gonna keep it notch 8, get some power moving and uh, fly through this downhill, let that hill get us some speed, but we'll keep the power on so we stay stretched. Everyone get ready for the speed bump again, and 3, 2, 1, da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun Gotta have a little bit of fun. <laughs> you only get to say that for a couple more uh, days. I know, till Friday. If any of you are in my Discord server, you gotta check out Matt's uh, hilariously fun new role <laughs> uh, in the server. He's now our uh, ex Mikado manager over in the VRA server. Uh, it is a... Uh, a very intensive role. He's going to be doing absolutely no work for us, just hanging out. <laughs> uh, but he gets a fun color. Well, at least the Discord one worked. Yay! All right. So we're going to keep the power on through this downhill. And probably shut off soonish. Take a look back at what my train's doing. Yeah, I'm almost all on the hill now. 31 to dispatch. Yeah, uh, dispatch answering 31. Uh, are we thinking Whittier for that meet? Uh. Yeah, that seems to make sense. Alright, we'll meet in is. Whittier. Okay. Um, probably gonna put you in the siding. I think. Yeah, well, we'll see. Never gets there first, like a man. Okay. Thank you, dispatch. Yep. Just gonna carry a nice, gentle set. And kick him off. I've been using a lot of cycle braking while playing this game lately. Um, I'm going to try that out on Saturday, I think. Because usually, I, I, I don't know. I've gotten to the... I, like, I, I like trying to get down our hills like by taking one set and seeing if I, like, I take the right set to get us down our hill and slow down to our speed restriction at the bottom. But uh, I've been doing the... You know, you got to run a little bit hotter coming into that to do that. Um... But like I think like I've been trying more cycle braking while playing this. I think I may try cycle braking this weekend. And try and keep a more consistent speed. Uh 
Uh, yeah, taking one set. Oh, I, my cat snuck up behind me and I just elbowed him in the head. Did not realize he was there. Poor kitty. He's okay. He's a child. Um, yes, one set works if it's a constant grade. We've got a, um, uh, the way our, uh, our hill is, is we've got a one set coming. We've got a tangent into a fairly tight curve into a tangent. So you can take a set before the tangent, um, or you can take a set coming out of the curve and ride that all the way down, because the curve will eat up some speed. Um, so that's that's usually how I do it, is I let the curve eat up a little bit of speed. It's fairly tightish, um, but I kind of want to try cycle break and take a set before the curve, release through the curve, then take a set coming out of it. Uh, see what that does. It's all about trying new things after a while. We crawl into the yard here. Take a couple notches. Now, sadly, 142 is not running yet. I'm looking forward to getting to fire her again when she's back. Hopefully soon. At least according to the uh, the internal uh, updates that CMO sends out periodically. I say soon. Soon can mean now, but now and you know the end of the world. Just teleport ahead here. What do we got? We've got. 37 cars. Uh, kind of board B. Uh, we're, we're working with the diesel now. We'll probably switch to uh, steam engine later in the stream. Um, you know, a fun new one got dropped on us uh, yesterday. Was that yesterday or Monday? I think so. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I've kind of lost count. No, two I've, days ago. Two days ago. I've lost count of the uh, the day of the week right now. Um, but uh, we, we've got a fun new steam engine that was dropped on us, and I'd be remiss if I didn't make a meme out of it right away. Anyone who was here early saw the meme right off the bat. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of cars. Hmm. You know, maybe we should tone down some of these contracts. All right, so uh, I took too big of a set too early. Uh, so now I got to drag through it. Yes. Any idea why the fast mail is just stopped in the middle of the field? Oh, yeah, that happens. Oh. Um, you got to go over and uh, re AI it, you got to get it moving manually. Yeah. Uh, it is impressive that one Jeep can haul all that. It's also a 1% downgrade, so that has a lot of things in my favor. But I've seen Jeeps haul things that they have no earthly reason to be able to haul. Jeep, the, the 567s just like to pull. Those are great prime movers. I, I love the early Jeeps. Uh, Davies, to put it into numbers uh, that may make more sense to you, it's 1,200 tons. Hopefully that makes things compute more. Alright, let's see where my head end is. I'm inside a locomotive. We're gonna just... drag her to a stop anywhere in here. Dispatch, this is Valley Flyer departing Wilmont westbound. 
Or do that. Probably fire one more westbound. You're gonna actually end up taking a siding there in Thomas Valley temporarily. Understood. All right. Bottle our air. Cost of nineteen fifteen. We can bottle our air. And run around our train. And we've got to break this guy up into three different cuts. Let's take a look at what we got here to work with. So all the coal hoppers are going to go together on their own train. Uh, locust pin stuff is going to get dumped over here with the silver coal stuff. All the Andrew stuff, the green cars. And the blue, purple, blue and purple cars are all going to go in a cut together. So we're going to start with just pulling hoppers. Do that, do that, and pre-pull my pin. So we want to block this fairly well. At least not make it horrible for the Yardmaster down in Bryson to deal with. Thanks. I'll try. <laughs> okay. So, da, 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 da. just coming up with a plan. I'm going to pull these hoppers, dunk them over to this backtrack here. After I dunk those hoppers over, I'm going to grab the rest of these Andrew cars. After I dunk the hoppers over. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. I have a plan. Something that resembles a plan at least. That's the important part. Gotta have something that resembles a plan. I have this great vest for switching that I can put the radio on. It just sits right in front of me. Um, it's got a cool little pocket for my switch list. I love that thing. That doesn't really work in game. Like I can't like strap my mouse to my chest and still be able to play. But it's still a cool little piece of kit that I have. There we go. Safety stop. Dunk in. Air you up. And haul out of here. That's just a little fast. I caught it in the end. All that counts is that you catch it before you donk. All right, so we're going to put you guys down there. Valley Flyer to dispatch. We are in the hole, in the hole at Thomas Valley. Okay, you got a train coming past you, and then I'll, I'll get you out. Understood. Alright, and grab a little bit of independent, let it bunch up, then you can grab a lot. And that's how you safely play the train accordion. A little bit of independent till it all bunches up against you. And then a lot of independent so you can actually stop.
Got a lot of cars. Alright, so I'm gonna go do the naughty thing. And we're gonna make this go just a tad bit quicker. And yeah. All right, now we hang out back here. And I'm just gonna let the, uh, that run slowly, leave it in notch one, come down on top of the rest of the cut. For that to clear the foul there and give it an extra car length so I can get the hack on top of it and pop the angle cock there we go one kick done okay now our next move we're gonna come down we're gonna grab these locust pin cars we're gonna grab the locust pin cars uh, and the sawmill cars and then we're going to come over and grab the Andrew's cars here. Because we need those Andrew cars out of the way so that way we can do something with the yellow cars. Or uh, the yellow cars, not just the yellow, yellow cars. I think there are some sawmill cars in there. That's going to be the second train we're taking out later. Kicking cars is not inherently illegal. As long as you have tested the handbrake to make sure it works, you are legally allowed to kick a car. Oh, those are getting close. I believe it's it's flying switches that are illegal. Flying switches are illegal. Kicking, totally legal. Do it all day. Yep. No one will say boo to you about doing it. All right. I'm going to apply that handbrake, bottle the air on that. We're going to do some uh, not-so-legal shit. Or maybe kind of legal. Kind of legal shit. You'll, you'll see. Just bear with me. Davies, looking at the yard without knowing all the contacts and route track map is amazing. Controlled chaos. Even knowing it all, it's controlled chaos. <laughs> um, I, don't, I very much enjoy switching this yard. It's kind of one of the jobs that I do every time we have an obsession. Uh, I just, I don't know. I really like, uh, I like uh, switching this yard. This is, if this yard doesn't get done, the rest of the railroad kind of can't run. Um, so it's, I don't know, I, I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. Forty, uh, is that you pulling into Whittier right now? Forty arrived, Whittier. Okay. I'm um, gonna have you go ahead up to the sawmill. And then uh, let me know when you're clear there because I have to get squiggy around you westbound. Yeah, that's Roger. Uh, I gotta take water here. Okay. All right. Got one more car or two more cars. So first, now things I'm thinking about as I'm doing this, because I'm also not only am I doing the yard job, I'm also doing the uh, uh, kind of the yard master up here. Uh, I gotta make room for the next inbound train that is barreling this way. Uh, so that train cannot come in until I get the coal train out of town. So I am aware of that as well. So we'll uh, we'll see how we land and how things shake up. We may do the very railroad thing and just have them get held outside of uh, 
outside of the yard for a while while we get our work done, get a track cleared up for him. Oh, screw you, shuffle playlist. I'm not going to derail. <laughs> Funny okay. derailment song came on. Oh, is it smells like an OSHA or something? It does. Ah. Uh... Biggie, yeah, I'm going to give you a signal very shortly. Um, Understood, thank you. Keep an eye on the intermediate, because uh, that will be red unless the uh, log train's out of your way. So, just when you get to the intermediate, take a look at that. <clears throat> Acknowledged. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It would not be a day on the railroad if you didn't have to wait two hours or something. Um, this is true. To be fair, I just had five trains meet in Whittier at the same time, so. Well, you know. What was it, on Sunday we had how many trains, uh... How many, uh... Sunday. I was dispatching. Sunday, Sunday night, Sunday we heard. had, like... We had trains stacked up between, uh... Whittier and Bryson. Just waiting, just like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, next train go, now you're gonna wait where you just met that thing. It was... It was very, uh, we had like five eastbounds, two westbounds, or other way around, like five westbounds, two eastbounds, and like, it was those, it was a time. Mm -hmm. Uh, the prospector, thanks for the subscription, always happy to have uh, someone stick around. I don't like that smells like Kenosha's playing and I'm about to kick like 15 cars into another cut of cars. Perfect. You're worried it'll, the song will jinx you? I'm, I'm very worried the song will jinx me. <laughs> um, uh, who asked it? Someone asked about grades today. Uh, kind of bored B. Uh, we've, we've seen a couple grades already. Uh, the railroad's pretty hilly. It's not, not very flat. Um, but we won't be touching the 5% today. But, uh, we've got, coming out of Dillsboro, uh, if you watch the stream on train handling, uh, that we have a nice 2%, uh, 1.5%, 2% downgrade. So we will be touching that. I don't know if we'll be going uphill today. Depends on how fast we get our work done. Um... I want to go to the 5%. We got to do a nice uh, helper operation stream, but I want to get some guests for that who have actually done helper operations, and we'll do a, a nice proper helper ops. Mm, sounds nice. All right. Did I just bottle that? I just bottled that with a set. Silly me. We're going to call that released. And I didn't derail. Look at that. Aha! Yep. Shh. As I say, I need to go into Notch 8 to kick these cars. That. We're gonna line that. Oh god, I hope those roll. Those are not rolling as fast as I expanded them to. I think we're gonna stop. There's still a set on them. We're gonna stop. Actually, we can just do. Should not have done that. No, we should not. Okay, we're gonna re-air. We're gonna re-air these. We're gonna. You know what? There, not every kick's gonna be perfect. Sometimes you mess up. Grab a little air. Grab a lot of air. We're winning. We are winning. This is this is railroading. 
In a video game, at least. Okay. Wow, all of those are released. Let's try this kick again, shall we? You know what they say, second time's the charm. Got him rolling, straight to eight. And... Okay, well, we missed the car. We're gonna, we're gonna do that and that. Kick that guy. Okay, so we gotta take these Ella cars. And we're gonna kick these Ella cars down here on top of that guy. Then kick the locust pinned cars down on top of the track over. Then go kick the rest of the stuff down. All right, we've got our moves. We've got three more kicks coming up. Then we can start slapping Kabis on things and we'll do a little bit of hostling. Everyone with me so far? I hope you're all with me. I'm with me. I think so. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. I have confidence. Well, those stop short. That's fine. We're going to have to shove all this stuff down anyway. When we tack the hack on. I forgot to get a switch. So that's a failed kick. This is why it's helpful to have another person. Valley Flyer has an approach at uh, Whittier. Yeah, Roger. You're taking the main of the train going to the other end of the siding right now. And you probably got to clear now to Whittier. Understood. I need to make my stop here anyways. Yep. Uh, 67, 77, yes, that counts. Uh, Nicholas RB, grip it and rip it is the motto right now. That's accurate. That is very accurate to how we're running this railroad. Also trying to get this done in a reasonable amount of time so we can get onto other cooler stuff. I'd like to talk more about train handling and get out on the road with an engine, steam engine. Not these noisy boxcar things that we're working with. Alright. And we pop that pin. Let it roll. Get away. We're going to come down here and do that. All right, Valley Flyer to dispatch. I'm in the clear on the main at Whittier. Okay. And that. 31 to dispatch. Uh, dispatch. Do you have any idea how Dillsborough looks right now? Uh, no, but I think a switch is open. You have to contact the uh, Dillsborough Yardmaster. 31 Dillsborough Yardmaster. Hey, uh, Dillsborough Yardmaster here. How's Dillsborough looking down there? Uh, we're going to need to hold you outside of the yard. Uh, we're pretty clogged up at the moment. we got to free up a track. And four. Pancakes for Mayor. Thanks for the follow. 
Yeah, I know that guy. Sounds familiar. Sounds like the result of a, you know, third generation uh, <clears throat> business in Whittier. It does sound like the result of a third generation <laughs> business in Whittier. <laughs> Would you like to plug the Pancake Palace for all of our newcomers? Uh, I can certainly do that. The, the Pancake Palace is our, our local uh, food establishment that is frequented by the uh, the rare orders that uh, often get stuck at Whittier waiting on meats because it seems to be the place that that happens often. And uh, uh, Pancake Palace uh, actually had its own uh, pancake recipe, which uh, I see was just posted. Which is incredibly uh, divine. Please mm -hmm. cook it. It is the best pancakes I've ever had. Uh, if you have yet to try the Pancake Palace recipe, I highly recommend it. You can find it in chat with Exclamation Park Pancakes, or it's always in our link tree, uh, which is in our bio. It's on our Discord page, so... Pancakes are a fun thing around here. All right, so those guys are away. We're going to tuck these cars away um, and get start getting hacks on the things and start pulling out some power. Uh, so uh, extra 31, 30, 31, what are you? I am 31. You're 31, and we're going to have to hold you out of Cowie. All right. Uh, you want me to hold off in the siding up there? Yeah, just we'll put, you, we'll put you in the hole uh, just out of Cowie Tunnel. Uh, you'll be meeting the hopper jet uh, here probably in the next 10 to 15 minutes. All right. Just like the real thing. Just like the real thing. Unfortunately, nobody's installed a uh, pancake palace out there in the middle of nowhere next to Cowie. So. There isn't, but there is one in Whittier again. I, I asked that the other day. I would say lucky that you got a backhead and you get the recipes, so yeah, make it yourself. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, <clears throat> Valley Flyer has departed uh, Whittier westbound. Roger that. Uh, it is it is very rushed handling right now. Uh, I'm being a little rough with things to try and get on to the next thing. Um, but also it's surprisingly hard to switch and, uh, talk and, uh, it, I'm like watching six different things. Usually when you're switching, you're working with a crew and you're very focused on just moving the train, uh, so that way you don't kill anyone. And you kind of don't have that in a video game. So that's why I am, that's why there's bad hitches and stuff. Uh, I try and be as good as I can be, but. There's only so much you can do. What's going on in the stream right now is the reason that personal electronic devices are uh, are outlawed by the FRA. Actually, yeah. <laughs> this is this is why you don't get distracted. All right. There's something beauty about switching without any electronic devices and not using the radio and only using hand signals where like you're just so honed in on the one thing and like you like you're just tuned in to what the other person's doing and you have a whole conversation without having words spoken it's it's very beautiful and i've yet to find a game that gets that even running with oh. crews you don't in this like you don't you don't get it The only game that allows that really is the game of real life, and that gets us back to the existential crisis you were having earlier. Of, I spent two hours drilling in industry, and it felt way too real. Mm -hmm. That is an existential crisis that I was having. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's something that resembles a... Actually, it's not a, it's not a terribly blocked train. I see Midland in the chat. What's going on, Midland? I don't have any of the EBT mics spawned in. Hope you've been appreciating those memes as they pop up in screenshots. And just 
donk into everything as hard as you can. We're gonna pop that angle cock and air up this mess. Put air there. There's air there already. There's not even close to air over there. Okay. So, what do we have for Caboose? Alright, uh, we're going to put 23, we're going to put on the DL2. We're going to put 102 on the coal train. And we're going to put uh, 90250 on the Bryson transfer. Hey, Pancakes, thanks for the sub. Valley local dispatch? Uh, dispatch answering Valley local. Uh, I understand it's a little busy around Dillsboro. Should I contact the Yardmaster? Uh, I believe so, because like I said, I believe there's a, a mainline switch open, so. Copy that. Uh, Valley local calm Dillsboro Yardmaster. Hello, Valley Local. Uh, what's going on at Dillsboro? I'm approaching Thomas Valley. Uh, yard's clogged up. You're a passenger train, correct? Correct. Uh, yeah, yard's clogged up, uh, but we got switches lined for you to come straight on through. Okay, and there is already a train holding in Cowie, correct? There is already a train holding in Cowie, but uh, we'll go yep. talk to the dispatcher and get by him. Okay. Yep, you're, you're lined past him. Sounds good, thank you. Uh, you can name your own trains, there's a whole crew creation thing. Uh, not sure what it's going to look like in the final game, but these are at least the trains that I have come up with. Uh, I did the math, at least the way I run the railroad, there's like the potential for 41 people to be doing stuff. Uh, no idea if the game can support that. But like with three-man crews, with the number of trains that I run, and how I break everything out, there's the potential for 41 different trains, for 41 different people to be doing things. Um, so, wow. in terms of like, how busy the railroad is, it's pretty pretty busy the way I do things. There's also some stuff that I run for fun, like the mail train doesn't need to run. That's a thing I just do for me, I think it's fun to see the mail train come flying by. Uh, though others who have dispatched can attest that that thing is a little bit annoying. <laughs> mm -hmm. I say having dispatched myself on Sunday and gotten that thing clogged somewhere okay that's there uh, dispatch uh, valley uh, flyer is departed Ella westbound right to that Um, da, 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 da. okay, so we drop this caboose over, we're going to kick these Ella cars down, uh, and then finally we tack the hack on, and then we can start hostling. We'll pull power for the coal train, get that run out of town, and while that's running out of town, um, we can start pulling the next power and running it over to the, uh, transfer and, uh, or the DL2 and then the transfer. We'll take the deal through, and uh, Matt will take the transfer out behind us. Or Matt will AI out the transfer out behind us. Whatever Matt wants to do. Uh, what? I'm so sorry. I was not paying attention at all. There you go. Uh, just Roger talking about, like, what? Back. Roger on the readback, uh, paddle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just theorizing what my next steps are. Okay. Alright, that's not gonna make... We're gonna... Just gonna... Hit the car mover button here a bunch of times. Get that rolling. Uh, 
Alright, all of you are for... yep. Is the FYI the Andrews transfer is heading west out of Bryson? Copy that, Andrew transfer is out of Bryson. Four GP9 screaming out of town. Uh, yes, and frame rate's climbing rapidly. <laughs> something, Mohawk something, something. 40, uh, Alpha build. Mm -hmm. Mohawk 40, dispatch. Uh, dispatch, Mohawk 40. Mohawk 40 looking to head back to Bryson. Uh, Roger that. Uh, you got clearance out. Uh, there's a train ahead of you, but he's uh, west of Isla, so following him. He should be. He should. He should be to pass Bryson by the time we get there. So. Yeah, Roger. Uh, I'm all forty clear out of here. The urge to use dev commands right now to speed up my switching is so high. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a no-show, or...? Is what? Dev commands? I don't know. Yeah. But it feels wrong when I'm like, here's how you do railroading, and then also, like, boom, dev commands. We're gonna teleport yeah. a thing. That feels wrong. Listen, if, if the stockholders could make you implement uh, dev commands in real life, they'd probably have you do it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just sky crane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the 050. There you go. Why don't you uh, sit by the river, enjoy a coffee break, and look away from the yard for about three minutes, and then your your yard will magically be switched. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to do a thing for me, and I'm like, what are you doing? Are you are you doing the thing that I need to happen? <laughs> All right, uh, bleed the break on that. Uh, Valley Flyer to dispatch. We are passing by Governor Us Island westbound. Yeah, roger that. Alright, finally done with the drill up here. Once uh, I kick this guy on. Valley Flare, are you a uh, Andrews train or an Alarka train? Andrews. Okay. Oh, 40 dispatch, uh, bye Ella. Roger that. Alright, close that angle cock, pop that, and away this goes. And switching the yard is done. Huh. Well, I could really use some Pancake Palace right about now. I don't know about you guys. Set that. Alright, we're just gonna get that engine rolling and leave it alone. Alright, uh, Dillsborough Yardmaster to, uh, Dispatcher. Dispatcher and some Dillsborough Yardmaster. How long do I have on that, uh, local coming through? Uh, local is coming through Barker's right now. Okay, copy that. I'm going to occupy the main to get some power out. Yep. And just keep posted when I can get that guy out of Cowie as well. Copy that. That's going to be a minute. we got some work to do with hostling. We've got to load some coal. Roger. Log 40 dispatch, approach Governor's Island. Glad to do that. Alright. So while this guy's coaling up, we'll get... How's 90 to look? 90 has enough water, it has enough coal. Hi, 90. Uh, and 142 is going to be our power. That has enough water. Okay. Cool, so we could start backing things out. It's really this only thing we need to fuel.
All right. That's doing that thing. Let's go get the turntable spunned. All right. Uh, Bryson Yardmaster, this is a uh, Valley Flyer. We are approaching Bryson Yard. Do we have permission to enter yard limits? Yep, you should be uh, cleared with the main to the station truck. Understood. Thank you. Let me get our marker set. Uh, because for some reason I like the pensiisms, the markers on the tender are kind of cool. Or an extra, so we'll do that now. And we'll hit the ding ding. Matt made the comment the other day that I barely use the bell when I'm playing this, and the bell hurts my head so much, both real life and in game. As soon as the air ringer is done, like as soon as we're through a crossing and I have the air ringer off, I'm the person that reaches up for the bell cord and grabs it to stop it. <laughs> Alright, so... So sorry. you don't like it when I tie down every bell of the engine house? I do not like that. It's the chime. Hawk 40 dispatcher get and approach the intermediate. Yeah, after that, you're going to have a, a danger at the east end of the yard. You can pass that danger and enter uh, the yard itself. Yeah, it's a Roger, pass the danger. 40. All right. We're going to leave this guy here. Let's go check on this one. Uh, okay. Dillsborough well, Yardmaster to Dispatcher. Dispatcher, Dillsborough Yardmaster. Can we still use the main? Uh, you can. That local's, uh, west of Cowie yet, so. Not west of Cowie yet? No, he is west of Cowie. Oh, okay. Copy yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Alley local just exited the tunnel. Alright, so we're going to stop over here and let the local come by first. Once the local's through, can I use the main? Uh, yes, I can. All right. We'll get 90 set up here. Boom, you got your lights already. And we'll bring 142 back. Well, this is an interesting operational challenge, for sure, of engine servicing on the opposite side of the yard. Makes for a lot of communication about what you need to do. Alright, I'm just going to roll back until we're about clear of that switch. You are clear west uh, as soon as you're uh, done with your station, South and Bryson. Understood, I have... You can proceed on signal indication. You're uh, you're following the Andrews transfer up, but they're they're probably four blocks ahead of you, so it should be all right. Understood. Thank you. Departing Bryson now. Oh, there's a hitbox there. And there's the local. guy to a stop here and we're gonna get our Connie out on the main and we're gonna get that starting to roll down and while that's starting to roll down we're gonna get our other two engines out I'm gonna get those other guys lined up down by the switch uh, this is Patrick to uh, Dillsborough Yardmaster uh, this is Dillsborough Yardmaster uh, do you want to bring that uh of the train in that's sitting out on uh, Cowie there, you want to wait? Negative, I don't have room, I gotta clear a track. 
sounds like a Yardmaster problem. That is a Yardmaster problem. <laughs> That's currently my problem. Why did you not go donk into the cars I sent you at? Railroading. Casually yeets engine. Alright, shut the throttle off on that guy. And we're going to get 142 out onto the main, then we'll get 90 out onto the main. Yeah, dispatch to uh, Mohawk Lumber 40. 40, go ahead. I'm going to need you to pee in a cup, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Uh, yeah. 40's, uh, 40's heading over to the roundhouse to get some uh, much-needed attention after what I just witnessed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you can't nice. kill 40. She's gonna be mean to me tomorrow. My <laughs> association. The... And for the record, uh, Valley Flyer has also taken photographic evidence. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that photographic evidence afterwards. <laughs> See, this is the, like, the B stream that I think we should do for channel members. Mm. Is they get to see all the uh, chicanery that goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> in uh, the Discord channels. Like, you guys stream while Nick and I are on uh, the stream chat. Then you learn all the secrets. Secrets. Probably once the game comes out, we should do that. Yes. The secret behind the scenes the, the, to the AM and W. The, the, the secret behind the scenes is... No, we actually just do almost have cornfield meets. <laughs> lots of saw buys, lots of cornfield. Saw buys are yep. fun. We've had a lot of good ones of those. Oh, gravity yeah. switching. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember the gravity switching. Gravity uh, switching long distance. <laughs> the and train. 6777 mm -hmm. production says blame Yardmaster equals blame Casey. Mm-hmm. Plus two does equal four. Hey, God, come on. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my one person hustling three engines. Everything's moving at once, just bouncing between cabs. All of this is legal, right? Uh, no, it's fine. All right. You can hustle like 12. Ooh. Probably. I just had a small realization. There's no FRA in this time period. It's all it's all ICC. <laughs> Has the FRA been implemented yet? I think that's a post 1.0 thing. Oh my god! I <laughs> it's a post 1.0 thing. <laughs> you say that's ICC, hilarious. I say I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that that FRA thing gave me a good. Someone will discover the FRA joke I'm going to create after this. Later. Aww. Right, what else? What other jobs we got to pick? I mean, run. You want a coal drag? Uh, you could do the logging run Meh. if you want to do that. <clears throat> uh, and there's a coal drag. There's also a... Well, I assume that's Kuwait and cars from Dillsboro. The Larka local, but I'm going to be waiting for cars. Yeah, I've got uh, three cars for a Larka up here. Okay. All right, uh, I can send the coal train. Uh, coal train's ready to go whenever you get, okay. get on the road. So, ready for a cool thing, guys? I'm going to go road, forward, 45, not shade and sand. And wait for this guy to recharge. And uh, 600 tons of coal or 600 tons of empty hopper out of town. You know, we'll grab those. We'll grab those engines in a minute. Let's watch this. And uh, he's in the railroad or server. Y'all want to see something funny? Want to see something really cool? <laughs> 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 Who 
wants who wants to see something really cool? What do you got? Geese. Three, two, one, ping. Everyone go rock lobster. There it is. <laughs> Excellent. All right, and we got our train departing. Uh, as soon as that's clear, Matt, you can uh, pass signal at danger and come into the yard. We got you lined into the backtrack. Four. Will do. She got like 30 people to go rock lobster. That's hilarious. Uh, Valley Local Dispatch. Dispatch answering Valley Local. Valley Local has reached its destination. Do you need a crew for the logging train? Uh, yeah. Train is assembled in uh, Bryson Yard if you want to grab the... Uh, <clears throat> whatever it is now, K-35, out of the uh, roundhouse and bring it over and tie it in a train. Alright, uh, K-35 or K-28T? 28T. Another cute little one. Well, that could be both of them. This is this is this is a short line railroading. We don't call them by their actual names. They all they all have nicknames. Well, I mean, you're not taking forty's probably not. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Don't grab the shitty one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's uh, an O. <laughs> forty has forty has felt things. Oh right, that one's awaiting uh, trial. <laughs> That's the, that's the one they're keeping in the back of the engine house for uh, evidence. Yeah, could be worse. I'm landing uh, under the correct track. Yeah, yeah, uh, Casey. Yes, you are. Okay. How many cars do you have? A lot. You may need to do. You, you may need to like come in, pull through, then shove into a different track. We'll see. I've got 23. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think you're gonna need to do a little bit of switching. But, I mean, that train also is not blocked in the slightest. So. Oh, you know what you can do? There's a uh, room on track two. You can pull in on three, cut, then shove deep on two. Okay. That's Brace. Good. Brace and you are going nice and slow with this spell on just for you. <laughs> Thank you. The, oh. Brace and, the Brace and Yard job that put that train together should probably get their pay docked. So. Well, you know what? I'm not the yard master there, so 6777 can't blame me for this one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to the Yardmaster and see if the Yardmaster can reprimand the crew. There we go. Wait a second. The crew could use it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You've got a long five to a stop there, uh, 31. Get 90 set up over here. We're gonna head down that track with 142. And you may be asking, how am I going to move 90? And that's a good question. Because the sane person, the sane hostler, would just say, we're just gonna, you know, hop in the cab, uncouple, and send it, right? No, that's not what I'm not sane enough for that. We're gonna, we're gonna. We're going to cheat the system a little bit, and we're going to kick a steam engine. Oh. Shh, no one saw that. 
<laughs> if you're with the FRA, please log out for a little bit. Come back in five. <laughs> this train fits damn near perfectly. Seriously? Seriously. Holy crap. God's strongest engineer. God's strongest decapod. I mean, not even close, but you know. Not even close, however. <laughs> In this instance. You know, I suppose I could have used the AI, the ro the uh, switching AI to do this, but I think kicking the engine's more fun now that I think about it. You know. You run it your way. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That think that's the other one. Burger King? Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah. yeah. No, no. But never mind. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I know. All right. Yeah. 142 coming back here. Wait. Uh... Uh, I think now that I'm here, I'm going to scoot out for the evening. Have a good night. Yep. Same Catch to you, you later. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Good night, good night Matt. By the way, uh, Valley Flyer has, uh, has departed Hemingway westbound. Okay. Okay. Uh, Midland, I'm not violating Rule G. This is just me. Got our air up. Kick off that handbrake. Uh, this is uh, DL2 to dispatcher. Uh, dispatcher has some DL2. We're, uh, we're all here made up in Bryce and we got a power tied on. We're looking to get a track out of uh, Dillsboro for Whittier and beyond. Okay. Uh, you got a <clears throat> eastbound that is uh, going to be heading through Cowie, I believe, very shortly. So let me get them through, and then you'll be lined out. Copy that. We're following this eastbound. Uh, and then behind me, I have the Bryson transfer. Right. Okay. I'll uh, I'll set the AI on that when I leave and. Line a switch and hopefully it'll stop. Yeah, I am also gonna head out. I will catch you all later. Have a good night, BMAC. Thanks for stopping by. Good night. All right, so we're gonna creep on up to our yard limit. Our camera set up over there. And, yeah, we'll do it the right way. A little glob of air. And release and hold with that. Someone drilling with the behind me? Uh, I think you have an AI train stuck. I keep hearing. I think Why I are I there like 400 engines coming this way? Do I want to know? I don't think I want to know. On. I don't think Turn. I want to know. Turn to the move oh. again. Um. Um. Valley Flyer is uh, passing Alarka Junction westbound. Roger that. Mark Junction westbound. Alright. 
so we're just hanging out waiting. Ah, uh, as one does, and there's... There's that eastbound passage you'll be able to get out. I think I know what you did. And they're talking about... 109 dispatch? Uh, dispatch answering 109. Uh, permission to exit Bryson Yards to access the logging branch. Yep, you should be, uh, should be lined out of the east end of, uh, Bryson Yards. Let me know when you got the, uh, switch, uh, closed up behind you. Roger that, and, uh, hope you get that turntable fixed. Oh? Turntable? Someone was spinning me on the turntable, and it was taking a while. <laughs> We, did, we didn't cheat that. No one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. Realize the mistake. Fix the mistake. <laughs> um, um, and uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, this thing is uh, whistling off a bunch up here. Hmm. I think it got stuck at Cowie. I think it got stuck at Cowie. Should be able to move now, I think, right? It is It is slowly coming towards me, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure what we're, uh, what we're seeing here is a scrap train coming through town. Uh, if I was, if I was a bet in Lass, that's, I'd, I'd mm. bet that we have a scrap train coming in. We've had a lot of action up here in this yard today. It is... Oh, look. Larry, truck, and electric. We're scrapping 17. We're scrapping that Connie. Are we scrapping 19? We're scrapping 18. Sorry, Midland. We're scrapping 19. Uh, a Pacific. And we're scrapping another mogul. Oh, my God. Hunk 109, clear the main line. Right that, thank you. Uh, DL2, you're clear out. DL2, clear out, here we go. Switch as we go by. And this is the wreck train just passed, and Amazing Grace is playing. <laughs> That's beautifully poetic. Alright. Well, at least now we're out on the road, we got some road train stuff to do. Watch your signal indication, but I think uh, you got basically track uh, from there to Whittier. And uh, I got a uh, Bryson transfer A head out behind me. Okay. Oh, we'll get that reverser hooked up. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. Yep. Um, on the stream, I know it gets pretty loud when you get the. Uh, just the steam sounds going over the diesel sounds. You hear you good. Cool, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Alright, and we're coming up to downhill here, so I'm gonna ease off, come forward a couple clicks and let my momentum carry me over the crest of the grade and right on down.
and shut the throttle off the drifting. Alright, so speed limit's 35 here. I've slowed down to 30-ish. I'm not worried. We're already starting to pick up as we come over the crest of that grade and down the hill. So, I have zero concerns about my speed. I've got a light train, so it may take a little bit of a deeper set to make things happen today, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it's feeling. Let's take a little set. Little little nibble of air. That's already doing too much. Oh, we're gonna release, let it recharge, and come back at it again. And this is what I say when I mean cycle breaking. I'm gonna take a nibble of air, let it do its thing, and release. All right, smaller bite. Let's see what that does. That seems to be holding us rather well. We're slowing down. So I'm gonna kick off through this tangent. and let these S-curves chew up a little bit of my speed. Hopefully. My train may not be long enough for that to work. Bottom of the grade's like over there-ish. And then I'm into a 45. I'm gonna take one last little nibble. And release. Kick it off as we're coming down through here. through our crossing. Get our throttle back out and start hooking it up a little bit at a time. Bring the throttle out. And we do that slow like that. So that way we take back up the slack. Because everything had the potential to run in coming down that grade. And we'll just get that throttle out to the nut. And we'll start bringing it back. Night Davies, thanks for stopping by. And just glance back along our train, make sure it's all still there. And Valley Flyer is passing Fontana Lake westbound. Back, we still got all our cars. Nothing's derailed, no particle effects. And I'm gonna click back one more notch. Uh, Zesty Clan and Walrus, thanks for the follow. And uh, we'll get this thing rolling at 45. Uh, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna change the song. Kick it forward one. That way we just keep our speed. It will teleport my two camera back over to the engine.
I haven't jinxed anything. We're going to be fine. It's only the Go Fast song. Hanging out on the fireman's side, doing the fireman's job, making sure this side of the cab is clear. Nothing's in the way. We're not going to hit anything. Uh, Ro, Ro Aquatic, thanks for the subscription. It's fun when you get a Baldwin 90 ton to do 70 miles an hour. Let's uh, get that reverser picked up a little bit. For anyone who's subscribing tonight, make sure you link your Twitch account to uh, your Discord. Uh, you get some special Discord perks, your own private channels. You find out about streams before everyone else does. Uh, and uh, once we have a stable multiplayer game to play, you guys will uh, be automatically entered in to uh, play with uh, the AIM and W once a week. Um, and anyone at the student engineer level uh, will get uh, access to uh, monthly, uh, play through, monthly plays uh, sessions. Alright, we're through Wilmot. Crazy Trucker, thanks for the subscription. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit of speed here because we're coming into the speedier section. The GJ Winston, thanks for subscribing. I think I can push the 50 through here. There's a there's a spicy curve up ahead. I know I got to slow down for. Oh, and there's a red signal. How do you have a red signal? I don't know. I have a red. This was a train stuck up ahead ahead of you. Stand by one second. I'm going to need to go pee in a cup. It would be the cold rag that managed to uh, just decide to stop itself there. I'm going to back up clear that signal. Midland literally just said that the cold rag probably got stuck. big glob of air. Let the slack run out. What drags back on the move? Multiplier number, thanks for the subscription. So now uh, now we're sitting and waiting. Cold drag got stuck in the same place as the uh, pass mail did earlier. Is that, uh, is that red signal out in the, the field of nothing? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, cardinal flew into the engineer's face. <laughs> uh, game up guy, thanks for the subscription. So uh, now we're we're sitting. Uh, do the right thing, take a set with my independent, release my automatic. Let my uh, brakes recharge. Uh, for anyone asking how to link your Twitch and your Discord, it's the same thing as with YouTube. Uh, so if you follow the process to do YouTube, to link your YouTube account, it's the same thing with Twitch.
uh, you have to link your Twitch account on Discord. Uh, we're just waiting for that signal to tick up, and then we can keep highballing out to the sawmill, and we'll get our drill down up there. Yep, I don't know that coal train's past the intermediate right now, so you should get a signal very shortly. Valley Flyers to parted Almond westbound. Prior to that, Valley Flyer, parting Almond westbound. And here we go. I'll hit the ding ding. Up, oh, hey, other forward. And probably wasn't the best start, but we didn't hear the slack roll. <laughs> and get that wide open. RO Aquatic, thanks for the 100 bits, much appreciated. And we'll just keep working that reverser back. As soon as it starts to lag a little bit, um, and it's no longer accelerating as much, that's when I know when to hook it back a little bit. So we're still accelerating pretty quick here. Once I start to feel that it's slowing down or see if I'm watching the speedometer, I'm gonna click it back another notch and that acceleration keeps going. And I'm gonna click it back one more time. Oh, I'm gonna click it. There we go. Finally got it. Hey, uh, uh, Dylan Cole, uh, thanks for subscribing. Much appreciated. Happy to have you here. Yeah, nice. I saw that there. 6777. We're gonna ease off a little bit through this curve. It's a little bit spicy. But then there's this nice long stretch. Now there's this great reading, and I think I talk about this book every stream, uh, but set up running if you guys can get a copy. O.P. Orr on the Pennsylvania Railroad, there's a great story with him, and he talks about running uh, his uh, dikers. It was uh, what they called their coal, drain, their coal drags on this particular stretch of railroad. And he would run so hot that he can keep a passenger train schedule with like an H8 and like 50 hopper cars on the Williamsport, Maine. Um, and that's like reading that book of like the dispatchers would put this guy in a coal drag out ahead of the scheduled passenger trains just because of how well he could run and we're going to shut off and take our first little nibble of air and take our next bigger bite of air little more there's the switch we're good everything's fine that's the proper speed and release All right, we're in the hole. How about that for train handling? Is that a 30 mile switch? Probably not. Uh, did we still get here safely? Yes. All right, what do we got? We got some solo cars here to pick up, some Andrew's cars. Let's grab those.
let that just roll past. And grab our independent. Boom. And let's come back into the sawmill. I'm going to grab those two cars there, double those guys over, then make my drops. Uh, then I'll make, then I'll take all my picks and we'll start heading out. Uh, there's cars over here that I'm not going to pick right now. I'm just going to leave those there. I'll pick them on my way back because this train bounces between the yards, uh, Dillsboro and uh, Bryson and serves all the local industries in between. So I'll serve those on my way back because I'm going to be heading back this way. Uh, and just glancing at the time, whether we get to that on stream or not is another story. But just know I'll be coming back this way for them. Uh, yeah, Nicholas, I, ju I saw your question after I had answered it already. But that, that's the way I like to run this local. Again, it's your railroad. Run it any way you want. You don't need to run it my way. Some people have complained about the way I run my railroad. But, you know, that's... uh, Run it your way. Uh, Hypno Games, usually we stream for about two hours. We'll probably go a little bit longer tonight. Probably got like another 15 minutes or so. Got a new kitten that has a cold. So we gotta go give her medicine. Um, and two hours is about all I do. Nice crisp stack talk. Love that. Hmm. Yes? I think that Bryson Transfer got stuck in the same place behind you. Yeah, everything's getting stuck there. I don't know why. Yeah, I'll go rescue it. Are you, uh, you're clear of the main, right? Yeah, I'm clear of the main. Everything's lined. Okay. I'm gonna send a, uh, send a eastbound past you. Copy that. Maybe a bug with the area, you know, something, 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 alpha build of the game, stuff still being worked on. Yeah. All that jazz. I'll go rescue it. Yep. I'll end up submitting a bug report for that after the stream is over. Probably do a little bit more testing with it. Yeah, it's like the same, same spot over and over again for westbound, so. Not Have we sent an AI through eastbound? Uh, not the stream, no. Alright, so we'll have to play with that. Maybe it's a uh, both. We'll see. Be curious to know. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna kick these guys in next. That eastbound should be coming by you very shortly. All right. Uh, is my caboose clear? I'm just going to scoot that forward a little bit. Watch yourself, it's a live, uh, live track there all left there. Uh, okay. Let's... Is that the FRA test car? Maybe. Boy, you got it all. You got an FRA test car tonight, too. Two different passenger trains, the fast mail, coal drag. Hey Texas, don't worry about having this up. It's nice when people decide to do it, but 
I'm just happy to have people hanging out watching. Um, that's not, not, I wouldn't call it the power of Thor, it's actually, um, it's actually a car mover. Like how you would have, a like a car mover in a shop, the big handle that you put on the rail and you scoot a car along. So, uh, that's, that's in the game. We've, we've played with that before on stream before. I'm fairly certain. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, no idea what anim, no idea if anything will come of it, like what the plan is. I just, I just know it's a very helpful tool. Wait a second. I know I want that Ella car in the back. All right. Valley Fire. Valley Fire is passing western westbound. Roger, Valley Fire. Westbound at Wesser. That's a tongue twister. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Nicholas, it does move a whole lot faster, uh, but I guess gameplay reasons. Uh, that's there goes the Federal Railroad Administration again. Uh, is the FRA just hanging out with me? They're just gonna watch. That's I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> All right, 142 far enough. 142 switches line for the hole. Take her back. Seven to a hook. Alright, so I'm getting that Ella car put on the back of the train, because Ella's a hard one to drill. Um, it's it's laid out funky. Um, I find it's helpful if I have my drops on the rear of the train for Ella. Uh, just because the, the house track is so close to the uh, east end switch. Uh, independent, and got him. Oh, I think that was my best hook of the night. <laughs> Kick that handbrake off. And cut away. Oh god, the FRA is like right there watching. <laughs> Yeah, Nicholas, you know, we try to we try to run a an ops that feel correct. Um but uh also, you know, keep things light and fun. That's uh that's always our goal. All right. Uh 142 to dispatch. Uh, dispatch engine 142. We're finishing up our work here at the sawmill where we're looking to get a uh, track out of here. Heading to yeah. Ella. Roger that, I guess you're. Uh, you should be uh, cleared to Ella, I think. Copy uh, that. Do you have Do you have work at Sunville? Uh, I gotta gonna pick that on the way back. Okay. Uh, in that case, yeah, you're you're clear to you're clear to Ella. Copy that. Yeah, uh, a couple of pickups from Bryson as well, so you have to make it all the way up there. Okay, cool. Uh, we still have that, uh, you said that there was a westbound uh, coming up behind me? Do I still have that uh, need, or did you cancel that? Uh, well, that was the Bryson transfer that got stuck, so he's going to be a little bit yet. Copy that. You're, you can get out ahead of him. He's, he's not even to Wilmot yet. Oh, wow. They got stuck far back. They, he was one car out of the tunnel. So. Oh, yeah. That's a weird spot, too. And release that. Oops, lost the naming on that. All right, how about we read the hack till we get out of here? Shall we sit down and wait till we need to do our brakeman duties?
109 dispatch. Dispatch 109. Uh, logging run is complete. Uh, I'm now going to go take my bucket full of holes and go find a spring because I am out of water. Uh, roger that. Uh, can you coast down the hill or is that you're not going to make it? I can coast down the hill, but I'll only get to the first camp. Hmm. Alright, we'll send a rescue engine up for you. Alright, sounds good. Alright, get ready to do our brakeman duties here. Get our switch as we go by. This is the short line nature of it all. Some days you're drilling the yard and then they gotta send you out on a road job. It's, uh, you do everything. Come on, what's my water level? Yeah, we're good on water. We'll make it. Let's hang out back here. I like hanging out in the caboose. I, I've said it a thousand times, I almost like being a brakeman more than I like running these days. Running gets boring. IRL in game. It's trying to figure out all the moves you gotta do. That's, that's the fun stuff. PS4, thanks for following. Uh, I've got a red here. And okay. Whittier. East end. Or west right. end. And we're passing the infamous Pancake Palace here in Whittier. For all of your Pancake Palace needs. I've got a box. we got a tanker of syrup, a, a hopper there of a flower. Pancake mix. All right, there's our clear. Throttle all the way out. And we'll get throttle out to here. Speed limit's only 35, so I'm not gonna run super. I'm not gonna run hooked up super high. I want to leave it a little bit long. Ah, oh, cause I don't, I don't need the speed. So we're just gonna keep running like this. Yeah, maybe 40%. She feels like she doesn't want to pull. Now this, we were talking about grades earlier. This is all another one and a half, two percent ish downhill. Oh, but some tight curves, long trains, train handling super easy. I find it harder with the shorter trains in here. Start easing her off more. Get myself set up for drifting. And take a little nibble. Let's see what 87 does. A little three pound set. 
That's holding our speed nicely. I'm gonna leave that alone and just let that cook. You can already see we hit that curve, it eats up a little bit of speed. As we pass a 30 mile an hour speed limit, I'm doing 35. But we're just gonna, we're gonna let that eat up. I'm gonna kick off my brakes. Let this ride through these reverse curves. And you can see that we level off as we come through this next curve. So we're gonna come back a little bit on that. And keep going. We got like half a mile to Ella here, so I'm not gonna rush to get back up to 35. I'm just gonna let this cook nice and easy, let it ride, and uh, let her do what she's gonna do. Now, the tricky thing with Ella is we can fit three cars on spot, and there may be three cars there already, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to drop this one. I think we may just be moving a car around the railroad to move a car around the railroad. So we will find out. Oh, perfect, so we just have a drop to do. I'll let that slow down. And release. Take another little bite. Another bite. Ah, I'm over foul. Okay. Independent release, back them up. Boy, that was a little hard. And a little bit of independent, let it slow down gently and grab that all the way. Set a handbrake on you and a head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that magical car mover again. That's good. That's fine. And grab a little bit of independent. Let it bunch up. More independent once it's bunched. I'm gonna go in between. Close that angle cock. Close that angle cock. Pop that guy. And we'll kick it into spot. And once we got it rolling, get the throttle open nice and wide. Kick off that handbrake. And we'll let that roll in together and... Push it. Flip that guy. And start coming back. Alright, that's dropped. Only three off for damage. So we'll make our hook here. Come on, back him up. Does not want to roll. Get that handbrake kicked off early.
and Kathunk. That laced up. And this is a uh, DL2 to dispatch. Uh, dispatch entering DL2. DL2 is all made up here in Ella. We're ready to get out of town. Yeah, roger that. Uh, where is. Did you see the Bryson transfer yet? Because they. Could be like right behind you. I do not see them, uh, but I, I, I'm currently sitting here at a red. I hear them. They are coming around you. They are, in fact, coming around me. I guess I'll be running on their. Uh, there are yellows the rest of the way? Uh, yep. Alright. Uh, yes, boo, I did cut my hair in for the caboose. That's, uh... I'll cut in. Well, I think as we start get rolling out of here... Uh, gonna have to start signing off for the night. It is kitten medicine time, unfortunately, and already gone on a little bit longer than we usually do for tonight, just for all of you out here. We appreciate everyone. Get our headlight turned back on. And just waiting on that the signal to uh, come on up. Valley Pliers departing Natahala westbound. Wish me luck on the red marble grade. God bless. Best of luck. <laughs> that signal should drop any second now. Here we go. And a little bit of throttle. Just so we get that stretched out and rolling. And we can get that to auto all the way out. Now I think we'll go stand over here and watch 142 disappear off into the sunset. Well, not sunset, because you know it's still 2 o'clock in game, but you get the point. From all of us here at the Virtual Railroader Academy, thank you for coming on out tonight. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to everyone who followed all of the bits. Much appreciated. Uh, we uh, so happy to have you all here. Keep an eye out. We have another stream coming up shortly. Uh, for those of you who subscribed, you'll be getting that info uh, fairly soon. Uh, thank you all for coming out, and we hope you have a good night. Bye.